Uh, this is my master of cards. This is how I made it. Well, really, I just made it and I found out that it's actually pretty good. So I'm putting a video up so other people can know how to make them easily because I don't know. I thought that would have been helpful when I was making it. So, start out. The back wheels. I'll go back to front. Back wheels are just these spheres. They came from some of my protein shakes. Just cut around, cut out a slice of rim of it. Then, just there. Then, for the rim of it, I had this poster foam board from something else, some other projects. Right, and then, and then on the outside of the wheel, put some smart, smart water caps on the end so it could be a wider wheel so they'd center up better and not be as wobbly. Like, they're pretty good. I don't know. And then going through there, I have a skewer. Then the hub on the back is just piece of straw, piece of straw. When you put it on there, you want to make sure it's one whole one, then just cut out the middle pieces. Piece of straw is hot glued to the main body skewer, I mean main chassis skewer right there. Then I just put some moss and duct tape around it because everything's better with duct tape. Then on the regular chassis, then it's just... Ah, uh, crap, I don't think I was showing that. Is this... Uh, screw it. Then the main body is these skewer rods. Then they're held together on this. They just kind of overlap, and right there, and right there, by five zip ties. Um, then on the mouse trap, I had to drill a hole right here because the swing arm would go into it. Then I just used kind of like a pressure thing, thing right there. I mean, or I forgot the word for it. But then I also took out that little stupid cheese thing and all that stuff. No walking thing, because we don't need to use that in my class, but I don't know about you. Then the swing arm is from a fishing rod, but it was like one of those like little toy ones. It's like that's like the whole entire pole. Like right here, it was actually a handle. You hold it and you only got two rings. But that's that part. Then going up to the front, it's just the same thing as the back coming down. Then there. Then these wheels, those are pretty cool wheels, you gotta admit. Nice. But what those are, are actually the rims of a solo cup. Or solo cups. And then they just have a straw going through like the perfect middle of them. Put a smaller skewer that I just found going through them, hot glued it onto there. Then put it through the straw going on the front. Some other tips that I'd have to say is on the back, before when I tested it, I had rubber bands going around the back side of the wheels for traction. It's pretty dandy, but I'm not putting it on. And then another thing, if you're gonna, you, you well, probably everybody was string, but when you do, instead of taping it on, you want to just put it back, then you go under and you come over to the, I mean you can really do it the left side, then you swirl it around again, then come up on the right side. Then it'll go to the left side, swirl around one more time to the right side. And then this way, when you go, like it'll hold, so like if I pull this it'll spin the tires. Like it'll get grip, but you don't have to use tape, so when it the whole thing comes straight out, the string will unlatch and the thing can just roll farther by itself. Then another thing that you want to do is, what I just use is like soap. I mean soap's probably not the best lubricant in the world for this, but I just put soap on a skewer and just kind of run it through to help lube it up some, but... Uh, I would test it, but I don't have anywhere to like, test it, but it went, I, I mean, I don't have a really long hallway, so it went from back here to here, and it went 
I think it went 13 yards and that gets a little less than half so I'd say about there is about 15 yards then all the way of course 30 yards 30 times 3 90 so about 90 feet and then once this thing releases once the string releases, as long as you did that like way where you don't have it taped on or like stationary on there, then it should just roll the other 10 feet to get the full 100 that you don't really have to have. Like my class only requires 2 meters, but I think 100 is just like a nice, nice little dandy thing to you. But, yeah, it's pretty much, I would test it, but I can't. Alright, hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.